afternoon. This is the Risky Business Podcast. I am your host, Russell Rockport, and this is Rowan. What's up, baby? Hey, Russ. How you doing? I listen. This this has been. I usually jump in here and say I'm living the dream. Uh, we have gotten some criticism here over the last few weeks. We took an unexpected break. Um, we're not going to go into the situations um, at this particular point in time. We're not ready to 100% go uh, public with our lives, but we needed to take some time off. It was a thing. It was a thing. I'm not going to throw either her or I under the bus for the reason why we took a time off. Just not ready to do that yet. And we apologize. It was unexpected. We were, we were not planning on taking any time off. Um, but there is a comment that The Rock likes to use on, and, and life finds a way. And that's basically what had happened with us, is life found a way. We apologize to our listeners for that. Uh, we will certainly give you a heads up if we ever decide to take a break again. And, and um, maybe at that time, we're ready to start sharing some information. But right now, we're just not feeling comfortable with the information. One of us is not feeling comfortable with the inf- sharing information. So we're just not going to do it. Um, but we are back. We're ready to start kicking uh, 2021. How many of you out there scream Jumanji on oh, 2000? Me, 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 me. I did. Very loud. Very loud. What a... How do you say... It didn't fucking work. <laughs> it didn't fucking work. <laughs> what a polarizing year it was last year. <laughs> Six days later. The good news and bad news that came out of it is we actually got this podcast going in 2020. Good for that. I need- True. That, that 2020 was good for something. Um, and uh, the bad news is, is it seems like the world turned into one big sh- pile of shit. Big shit show. Big shit show. Huge. Kind of like the Risky Business Podcast. One big shit <laughs> Kind of like the same thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. But uh, so as part of this thing, there has been things that have happened here over the last few few days. And uh, I'm just going to kind of sit here and hang out because Rowan has had quite the interesting last couple days. I have. She, she, she has got her shot and ironically this morning i am taking a shot i got a shot of baileys in my coffee (laughs) if that's what you want to call it i would say it's more like three shots but you call it what you want to you know it's funny i call it delicious that's what i call it there is a line in this world where people talk about the nectar of the god or nectar of the gods. Yes. And here over the last week and a half, I have found it. It is called Bailey's. Bailey's Irish Cream. This is delicious in coffee. I'd say I have never had anything in my life that just really has really changed me for the positive. It's weird because I'm I like whiskey. I like I like that, but but I like to do it in the evening. And the reason why is because it makes me a little tired and, and I don't want to be you know, drink anything in the mornings because I, I want to be alert and alive and awake. But Bailey's does the complete opposite of what normal liquors do. I have a little shot of Bailey's in my coffee. When I say a little shot, it's it's probably about three. It wakes me up. It energizes me. And uh, as long as I just stick to that one cup, it it's amazing how quick it wakes me up. Yeah, well, I mean, it's good stuff. I, I like it myself. I don't have any currently, but I like it myself. I will be sending you a bottle ASAP. Oh, good. I need that. Especially if it has the same effects on you as it does me. Oh, alcohol and I, we're good friends. We go way back, but we've not always gotten along. Most of the time, most of the time we do, but there've been a few, we've had a few notable fights um, which alcohol has also notably won, but I don't. I try not to do that in the morning because then I don't want to do anything else the rest of the day. Here, here is the challenge that I've had with alcohol um, for the last month and a half. I've pretty much given up on alcohol, and the reason why I have given up on it is because it was doing some strange things to me. And when I say strange things, it was making me 
unhappy. Well, when you say strange story. things to you, I, I wonder because there are so, you're so strange already, and of course, and you know that just it makes the mind just whirl. You know, to think what else could be going on over there. Well, typically, when I say strange things, you would think about normal things with me. So when I say it, strange things, or when somebody would, let me rephrase it. If somebody were to say, yeah, alcohol does strange things to Russ the Rock, you would go, okay, that's not. How could you tell? <laughs> so when I say it does strange things to me, you, you should be a little alarmed. So it was. <laughs> Basically, what it was doing was putting me in some ser- serious depression, and I recognized it. Well, I mean, that's what alcohol is. It's a depressant anyway. It is. Yeah. It is. But uh, so, yeah, I decided that, you know, there was, there. you know, I was waking up, and, and I wasn't able to to walk, and I wasn't able to, to not not out of, like, normal pains that I have, just different things, like my... my uh, Ankles would not work right, and it would just take all day to get going. See, that's and, called alcoholism, uh, and there are meetings for that. <laughs> there you go. And so here we are with our listeners, and I'm sure that they want to uh, have uh, a meeting. So I will start off. My name is Russ. I am an alcoholic. <laughs> Beat the shit out of me, please. You are not an alcoholic. <laughs> Speaking of beating the shit out of me, mm-hmm. uh, we are starting up something brand new, aren't we, Rowan? Yes, we are. We certainly We're are. both excited about this. This would be fun. This would be awesome. Yes, so we have a email that we may or may not read today. We haven't really decided. I think maybe we should just do an introduction on 2021 on this and, and leave it at that and just kind of give our listeners a... Um, heads up on what we're planning on doing this uh, upcoming year, but we will, and we will post this number to our diehards. So if you go to riskybusinesspodcast.com, the number will be on there. We are starting the Rock and Rowan voicemail. This is going to be great. <laughs> oh my God. We were reading a... <laughs> We were reading an email the other day, and I was I was speaking to Rowan and I out loud, and I said, how awesome would it be if this person actually shared this email in their own words? Amazing. Amazing. Instead of us <laughs> reading it, how awesome would it be if our listeners actually got to hear the voice? And then I got to thinking... I'm uh, Rowan, not the case, but I am more up to leaving a voicemail than writing an email. And so I was thinking, we probably got a lot of listeners who would just prefer to call in and share their story and, and um, you know, and, and Thoughts, then we'll just ideas. play it on the air. Yeah. Yeah. We'll just play it on the air. Share whatever you want to with us. Be as clean or as dirty or as deviant as you like profound laced i don't care if they just call in and say fuck 15 times you're welcome to do whatever the hell you want to do we don't care <laughs> doesn't mean we're gonna put it on the air we're all, we're gonna pick like the the best ones like we're doing with our emails and put the best ones on the air yes yes i think that will be amazing i can't wait until this happens <laughs> <laughs> And so we will have uh, the number. Uh, by the time you're listening to this, you should have the number. We also want to talk about something else that we're very excited about. We have a brand new platform. We are now members of Patreon. And uh, I kind of want to describe this because it's pretty cool. Uh, Patreon, if you don't know what Patreon is, there's a whole bunch of uh, information. If you go to Patreon. P-A-T-R-E-O-N. Patreon. Is that how it's spelled? I know P-A-T-R-E-O-N. how it's spelled. P A T R E O N. Isn't that crazy? Do you even know what a Patreon is? Is it even a word? I know. <clears throat> I know that a patron. It's for you know, you're you have a patron. That's someone who like supports your endeavors. You know, back way back in the day and shit like that. Well, I mean, even now you can have patrons. Patreon, I guess, is just their little fancy way of saying it. I don't know. What know. it probably was, was the same problem that you and I have had with our Risky Business Podcast, is everything that we put in there as a domain name was taken. 
until we finally decided to add our names to the website. <clears throat> Risky Business, or actually Risky Business Podcast. We added podcast. Yeah. And that's how we eventually found a domain name that fit what we were doing. And that's probably the case. I could imagine as they were looking up their domain name, the Patriot and, and Patriot or, um, patrons or whatever the word that they put in was not there so they kind of i think they created their own word anyways i don't know i think you're making revisionist history but that's okay that's 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 what we're here for (laughs) you don't have to think like an idiot we'll do it for you (laughs) all those idiotic thoughts get up all day long (laughs) we can do it that's what you tune in for (laughs) But the, the so anyways, you go to the Patreon and uh, sign up for an account. Uh, you can hear our edited version on there, and and uh, so th- there's different Patreon accounts that you can do and different things on there, which is cool. The one thing that we will do to our supporters, and and we're gonna add our unedited version only to our supporters. That's one of the deal, and you get to hear it a week in advance. So our shows will be uh, posted a week <laughs> after on all social media for- forms from here on out, YouTube, Spotify, all those are where you can listen to us a week prior to us actually recording them. But if you become a supporter on Patreon, you will not only hear it a week early, but you will also hear the unedited version of our our actual podcast that's pretty cool what do you think about that Rowan I know you're shaking in your boots I am just thrilled excited I can't wait until everything happens you know and the crazy thing was when we first started this there was a ton of editing that I had to do I spent hours editing but we've gotten to the point to where there's hardly any so anyways, uh, you're not going to hear a ton of difference, but what you will hear, you will hear a difference. You will hear some uh, things that um, get taken out for one reason or uh, another. It's um, mostly tip- shit that I say that he doesn't want anyone else to hear. <laughs> I have been guilty of a few things myself. Don't take all the credit. Uh, or blame, you know. <laughs> Either way. I didn't want to say blame. It's more credit. (laughs) You can hear the very few times where her and I actually slam our heads together. And one of us says, you know what? Fuck this shit. We'll do it later. (laughs) No, you will. That that will not be taken out. That, That will be there. And then we will actually put a time break. Maybe like a SpongeBob thing where it goes, this eight minutes later. And then we'll start, you know, recording again. So all of that stuff, if we do it, we'll probably be on our P's and Q's a little bit more now that we're going to be doing this. But you'll get to hear all that stuff. And uh, I think you will be very entertained by the unedited version because the unedited, you know, I've went back and listened to a a lot of our unedited stuff. And I thought to myself, why did we not just post it that way? Because it was some funny shit. And it was just uh, as as well as Rowan and I get along. We do have our moments. We have had a few. We have okay. had a few. Well, there's, there's, been, there's, there's, been, there's been a couple where I've been like ready to reach through the mic and just like throttle you, but because I love you as much as I do, I I restrain myself. There was one particular moment. Where these words came out, and I'm not going to mention who said them. I really want to remain your friend, so shut the fuck up. (laughs) I know who said it. (laughs) I know who said it, too. (laughs) I know who said it, too. And you will get to hear those moments (laughs) if we're recording them, and it's a part of these recordings. So look forward to this. This is exciting. We actually do say a lot of shit that you edit out. (laughs) There has been some stuff. And we're going to start putting some bonus material on there. I want to rethink this because... (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Uh, There is going to be a a bonus reel for Patreons as well. Uh, People who subscribe to our channel. uh, Bonus round. channel. Yeah, some bonus stuff. So um, part of the agreement that I that we have made is, you know, there's some stuff that 
we've talked about in the podcast before that people know about, and uh, you can't find it anywhere. I will give you a hint. When we first started this, we've had a select amount of people, about 10, 15, somewhere in that neighborhood. I don't remember the exact number. And we gave them only access to what we called the dry run. And we wanted their feedback to see if this was even worth getting going, see if, you know, I don't know why we did this. <laughs> why? But who, we only why gave, who did this? We, why you and I did this. Why we did this. Okay. Why we chose this. We chose to just have, you know, you and I picked a certain amount of people each, and we gave them access to what we called the dry run. And we've talked about the dry run. But nobody has access to it. And we picked, the, we picked people that were very close to a, a select individual and made sure that they were not going to release this to the general public in any way, shape, or form. And they still have access to it, but we still have the dry run. And that is something that you may, down the road, find in our bonus tracks to where you can actually, as a listener of our uh, podcast, can go in and access to so there's multiple things we're going to be putting in to uh, this Patreon account. I think it's amazing because it's what I like the best about it. And I know that Rowan is the same way about this. It's a challenge for us. And we both love a challenge. Oh, yeah. But I'm looking at the clock here and we have spent a lot of time on this. Should we just end this now or do you want to talk about your last few days? We can talk about the last few days. I don't care. I'm good. Yeah, let's talk about that. What 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 has happened in your life in the last few days? Well, let's see. Let's go the last few weeks. I got I'm, I just had my second my second shot of the vaccine yesterday. I got the the Pfizer vaccine. Um and I didn't have any uh real side effects. The only side effect that I had was my arm was sore. And I just felt kind of a little bit yucky, but not horrible. Um, but that's that's over with. I was like, it lasted like a few, uh, just a few days, a few days, a few hours. Sorry, I have, someone emailed me. <laughs> um, anyway, <clears throat> back to what I was saying. Just so you listeners know. Most of that will be edited out, <laughs> except for those of you who support us on the Patreon account. <clears throat> the email is more important than the podcast. I'm just, I'm just saying. <laughs> it's, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Look, I, <clears throat> I Here was, comes. I was given, I was given a Belgian Malinois puppy uh, for Christmas. I've been wanting one forever. And, and this dog, he is an amazing dog. He is absolutely amazing and he is beautiful and he is smart and he is a lot of work and I love it. But the little shit refuses to sleep past 5 a.m. So I have threatened his life a few times, but he's adorable. So he continues to live. But he is, uh, he's going to, um, he's going to uh, formal training, which cost me almost $3,000, I might add. Good golly, <clears throat> Miss Molly. Yeah, that was part of my Christmas present, too. Um, but, yeah, because I was like, I, we, are we going to do this? We have, we're going to do this. We have to have, uh, he has to be trained. So he will be trained to the point where, um so he, he has to be trained to the point where he can be off his leash and walk next to me in some place like, I don't know, Lowe's or Home Depot or, you know, wherever people are always taking their damn dogs <clears throat> and not be, not have to worry about him, which is great. Yeah, will, we, will we get a picture of this dog up on our, our Facebook? Or oh, on our, yes. Uh, I can yes, put his picture up there. He is adorable. Now, I, I, I will I will admit that um, I am not the one that names the animals that we get. Um, because I would have named him some badass name like Raptor or, you know. Don't Please know. don't tell me the name of the animal is Poppycock. <laughs> no, his name is Jubal. 
My uh, uh, he, he was named after an Andy Griffith character, <laughs> Jubal Foster. <laughs> and then again, some of the stuff that I will be editing was probably a damn good reason why I have an editing tool. Here is a specific example that you get to hear where you might stop patronize us because I didn't edit this shit. <laughs> well, you know, I, I, I don't know. You know, I have no excuses. <laughs> no defense. <laughs> Zero defense. We were talking this morning about your uh, about your shot that you got, mm-hmm. the vaccine. Yes, yes. And you were saying that you were not sure if you were having complications, but some weird stuff was going on. Share a little bit about that. <clears throat> well, I mean, I, I felt fine. After the first one, I felt fine. And then later that night, my arm got really sore, and I just felt a little crummy. And then yesterday, I got my second shot, and I felt fine. And then later on last night, my arm got really sore, and I felt a little crummy. But then, and it only lasted like a few hours. My arm is still a little bit sore, but as I've been up and moving, it it feels almost normal now. So I mean, I really haven't had any side effects. No, no head. People say you have headache, or you know, you you get like mild. Um, uh, symptoms like uh, a cough or a runny nose or whatever. I haven't gotten any of that <coughs> at all. And, and, um, no, really, I haven't gotten any of that. And so, I mean, it's not, it's not bad. I, I hadn't had any issues and, and anybody that I know that's gotten it, uh, I, I actually work in healthcare. So that's why I have, that's why I'm your normal everyday job. <clears throat> yes, my normal job is healthcare, which is why I was able to get the shot. But in in, in all the people that I know in my area that have gotten the shot have not had any issues with it. I, well, I'm, I take that back. One person got a little bit of a headache, but other than that, nothing. Nobody's. Well, that's had not any. entirely true because you do know somebody that got that vaccine that did have some complications with it and i will tell you i have done some research and that's why i was a little bit nervous at first to take this vaccine who do i know that took it that got i'm going to tell you the story just just take a deep breath so i do know for um did some research and it turns out that this vaccine has been around for a long time yes it has it's just been a little tiny teeny tiny bit modified but not a whole lot this vaccine has been around it was for originally done for the sars for the sars virus in china back yes yes which is why they were able to roll this out so quickly well it turns out that when i was a child that i had actually had this vaccine injected into me so i have taken this vaccine way back in the day way back when i was a child so and i was wondering why i have taken very little precautions on getting the coronavirus and i have not gotten it and it's because i actually have taken this vaccination and there was side effects not a whole lot of side effects but there was some side effects to it but i wasn't too worried about it it did change my attitude back then i was a sweet little girl yeah, that's true. That's true. Back in the day, I did know you when you were lovely in your little frocks and your little Shirley Temple curls. However, however, you look much better now, you know, uh, as a, you know, scruffy, bearded male. Yes, much better. Though I will tell you that my boobs still grew. That's true, too. Your tits are bigger than mine. But that's okay. That's all right. Some people there like may that. Be some, there may be some... <laughs> fabrication in the last story that you heard i cannot confirm nor deny if there was fabrication to any part of that story whatsoever i am your host russell rockport this is rowan darkthorn and we will see you between the sheets stay naughty don't be left out hit that subscribe that follow that like ring the bell whatever it takes to join us in the dark And you can come sit by me. I have all the cookies.